Naya Rivera has been seen for the first time since Mark Sawling's shocking death by apparent suicide at age 35. The actress, 31, was seen smiling as she headed to a TV Insider interview in New York City with her entourage to chat up her new Step Up series. Though the star may have been caught at an awkward moment, it's a surprising to see the peanut in good spirits as Rivera worked with Mark for several years on their hit TV show Glee and even dated the star for two years. Naya was fully made up with her makeup done and hair nicely styled, confirming she was going in front of the camera. The ex of Ryan Dorsey, with whom she has a child, wore a dark fur jacket over silky pajamas with pointy white heels. Behind her was a woman holding her outfit and on the side was a man who appeared to be her bodyguard. Naya dated Mark from 2009 until 2010, and they worked together on Glee from 2009 until 2015. After she split from Mark, she became engaged to rapper Big Sean. Then in 2014 she wed old high school flame Dorsey. Mark died of an apparent suicide just weeks before he was due to be sentenced on child pornography charges. The body of the star was found near his home in Sunland just before 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Assistant Chief Coroner Ed Winter told to DailyMail.com the Sawling was pronounced dead at the scene at 9 a.m. I heard it was hanging, said Winter who later noted that the investigation is ongoing and a full autopsy is pending. Winter said the autopsy would take place within the next two days. Sawling was just six weeks away from a sentencing hearing in this case, where he faced four to seven years in prison after entering a guilty plea to a federal charge of possessing material involving the sexual exploitation of minors. It was in court documents that some of the images Sawling possessed featured children as young as three. At the time of the hearing, he told the judge he was on medication for depression. I can confirm that Mark Sawling passed away early this morning, his lawyer Michael Proctor said in a statement. Mark was a gentle and loving person, a person of great creativity who was doing his best to atone for some serious mistakes and errors of judgment. He is survived by his mother and father, and his brother. The Sawling family appreciates the support they have been receiving and asks for their privacy to be respected. Sawling was awaiting sentencing after entering a guilty plea to possession of child pornography. Sawling's body was discovered around 8.50 am near Big Chajunga Creek, off the Big Chajunga Canyon Road according to Detective Megan Angular of the LAPD. A law enforcement source said the body was found in a shallow riverbed and that the case was being investigated as a suicide. TMZ was the first to report the news of Sawling's death. His body has since been removed from his scene while officials carry out their investigation. His black, Nissan Infiniti remains parked at the side of the road, surrounded by police cruisers. Meanwhile the LAPD and volunteers from the mayor's crisis response team were spotted at his Sunland home where he'd been living before his death. The three ladies, wearing light blue t-shirts bearing the team's logo, were escorted into the property by the female officer and led inside by an occupant of the home. According to the CRT website, the volunteers provide immediate on-scene crisis intervention, act as a liaison between the victim and emergency personnel and give referrals to victims and their families affected by a death, a violent crime or other traumatic incidents. These incidents include homicides, suicides, traffic fatalities, officer-involved shooting, death notification, infant deaths, natural deaths and multi-casualty incidents. The actor made a suicide attempt last summer, when he cut both of his wrists, according to a report. Sawling is said to have freaked out aft, 